Doctor Who is back this weekend, and this time he has a new companion travelling with him. That's not the only reason the series is highly anticipated. It is also the last outing for Peter Capaldi as the Doctor and for its writer Stephen Moffat. Breakfast to Moffat is on London's South Bank where he is about to take a giant leap. Good morning. Yeah, good morning to you for this amazing alien landscape. You can see some Daleks here, some Cybermen. It has, of course, been designed by Joe Hill, artist in honour of the new series of Doctor Who, which begins this Saturday. As you say, the last series featuring Peter Capaldi and the last series written and overseen by a man who I'm going to risk life and limb to go and meet. So here we go. I'm coming over here. I'm going to jump over here. Whoa! And Stephen Moffat, over the chasm, hey. I'm going to wave to you and say hello. The showrunner, the brains behind the most recent series of Doctor Who, and this is your last series. How are you feeling at the moment? Well, at the moment, flat out working. So it doesn't feel like the end. It'll just suddenly feel like the end when I actually am dumped in the skip, I think. But until this moment, it just feels like I'm working very hard. Metaphorically dumped in the skip. No, actual, there is an actual skip. Oh, Russell's okay. in there already. Exclusive Doctor yeah. Who fans, there's an actual skip. Okay. Right, so why did you decide to call it a day? Um, well, I've been doing it a very, very long time. Uh, and I suppose I just thought, I, mean, I, I certainly never got tired of Doctor Who. I never really got tired by it. But uh, I wanted to be at the beginning of something new. And I wanted to enter that phase of my career best defined by bitterness, regret and failure because those are, th that's an excellent time. Scottish people are brilliant at resenting lost success. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yeah. Getting a bit controversial here. <laughs> that's a dis disclaimer there. Um, and Peter Capaldi's last series as well. Did yeah. you kind of... Were the, are the two things not entirely unrelated, the, your departure and his departure? They are unrelated. Uh, I told him I was leaving, and I said, look, whatever you want to do, you want to stay with Chris, or you want to uh, leave with me, well, it's, it's entirely up to you. He took quite a long time to make up his mind. But in the end, I think he decided, as so many doctors have, that three years is the right amount of time. I mean, he still loves it to bits. The difficult thing with Doctor Who is you love it so much, you realise you have to hand it on at some point. And the big dread, the big dread for any doctor and for any showrunner is you don't want to be the last one. You want to be handing it on in good shape to somebody else. Now, I know you're not going to say who the next doctor is because you don't know. Ah, that's Do you have in your mind someone who you think would be the best new doctor peter capaldi i mean uh, i'm not i'm not no 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 i'm i'm done with that uh, yeah, all those questions have to have to go to chris chibnall go around his house stand in his garden he won't mind okay chris chibnall of course he did Broadchurch and yes, the man yes, taking, over from your... taking over from me, yeah. okay now of course peter capaldi the doctor has a new yeah. assistant yes. played by pearl mackey character yeah. of bill yeah what's it been like bringing those two together, getting their chemistry going? It's been, it's been an absolute joy because there is nothing more exciting, uh, I think, in this kind of job than finding a, a, a proper new star, a proper new star who just takes to it immediately. The very first scene you see her in, in the first episode of Doctor Who, BBC One, Saturday, 7.20, just in case you're wondering, um, is the first scene she shot for this series. And you will be blown away. She is simply astonishing. And her... Her very different chemistry with Peter brings out a different side of Peter's doctor. I, I, I think people are going to fall in love. They are going to fall in love. Where are you going to watch the show on Saturday? I'm going to watch the show at my house with Peter Capaldi, who's coming around to sit on the sofa with me. Actually, we're going to get behind the sofa because we're really quite scared of Doctor Who. You and Peter Capaldi are going to watch the show together yes. in a kind of fanboy experience? Yes. Wow. Yeah, and then, and then write scathing critiques of it on the internet. That's what we do. Never. I can't <laughs> believe that. It's so good to see you, Stephen. And, you, and someone with a fairly similar surname to me, Moffat Muffet, so that's a bit of a ah, moment for cool. me. Yeah, so yeah. Thank, thank you very much. Yeah. I'll let you return back to Earth. All right. Be okay. careful. Be careful out there. It's a dangerous world. Cheers, Good man. to see you. So as Stephen was saying, the show begins, Series 10, Doctor Who, this Saturday at 7.20. I'm going to leave over here. Whoa, it's a bit more comfortable. <laughs> Amazing piece of art, isn't it? isn't it? It's been created here, and it is hoped it will obviously raise awareness of what is this iconic show, popular not just in the UK, but right around the world. Really enjoyed a Muffet meets Moffat this morning. Yes. Do you think? Do you think you could finish off, Tim, by jumping into the abyss? <laughs>